Welcome back my friends to another video. So today we're gonna transform this uh, classic wall clock into a Google time wall clock. So without further ado, let's start with this project. First I'm gonna explain a bit the code that uh, needs to come uh, upload on this ESP8266. So in this case, let's have a look a bit on my computer. So here we go, this is the code. So make sure you update all these six libraries that include in this, pro in this code. So you have these four lines here that I'm gonna light them now. So make sure you update these libraries in order that the program it will gonna run in your ESP8266. Then down, uh, you, we declare the RGBs, you, we declare the time hour and minutes, then I say here, on the line 24, you can set up which color you prefer for to show you which one is the 12 o'clock. Then, this one you can set up also which color you prefer to show you the quarters of the clock. And also here you can modify these numbers where it's 30 and 10 and 0 to show you the numbers uh, uh, to show you the LEDs from the divisions and here you can also modify how you like to show you the all the seconds so make sure that you're gonna keep them very dim because needs to light only one at a time when the seconds run on the clock here you're gonna set up which color you prefer to have the LED that it shows you the hour. So in my case, it's a red maximum intensity. Then I have for the minutes is a green intensity maximum. And then for seconds is a intensity maximum in blue color, which is this one. Then here you set up how to work your neo pixels. So to go the backwards or forwards. So in my case, it's going the backwards because uh, the first LED that goes connected to the ESP8266 is the 6 o'clock and then all the LEDs goes around the anti-clockwise and uh, the last LED is going to be like 6 and 1 minute. And then here you set up in these lines, you set up during the day to be more brighter the, the, the clock and during the night more dimmer. And then here you set up like how dim you want to be during the night and during the day. These two lines over here, the 48 and 49. Then here you're gonna set up your uh, GMT time, depend where you are in the in the world. For my case is number one, and maybe you need to set up zero minus one to see which number it will gonna match the time exactly the time that it's uh, it shows you on your country. Then here down, we define the pin number two where it will gonna control the, the neo pixels. Here much to say about this one is say that 60 neo pixels you need for this project. And then the serial begin and serial pixels and everything and void loop and it's very short the code. And now let's see which hardware we need for this project. We need a USB to serial converter in order to upload the code to the ESP8266, 3.3 voltage regulator, a capacitor, some Dupont connectors, a 33 ohms resistor, 60 pieces of neo pixels, and at the end, a prep board to make the circuitry of this project. So first we are going to solder these uh, neo pixels, which are very tiny, and we're gonna use a very thin wire, like how I did it on the project. And if you can see, I use very thin wire over here to solder all the neo pixels, 60 in total. 
So practically you are soldering following this uh, arrow. Following the arrow you are soldering so the way that the arrow shows is the way that the signal it will gonna come so it will gonna come from this side going to other side so if you start with this one this one it will gonna be the first one if it is in my case uh, six o'clock that is show me after you solder everything you go to upload the code into the ESP8266 which is here at the back so then you can start to do the circuitry so it's very simple I'm gonna put on the description below uh, from where you can download the code and also the schematic how needs to be everything soldered in place and uh, after you done that I use a double sided tab in order that I can put around the, f uh, the clock frame and to stick on the all the 60 LEDs after you solder everything in place double check to be sure that it everything uh, how it will gonna be in the schematic that I mentioned it will gonna be provided on the description below from where to download leave it like that and try to power it so don't connect yet the, the LEDs just try to power this one to see if ESP8266 will gonna communicate with your uh, Wi-Fi so I have the positive in this side which is the blue color so it's gonna be over there so power from 5 volts so now it's flashing red this mean has power we are waiting for the blue color that mean is getting connected to my Wi-Fi so let's wait for that so you can see the the blue color is already flashed here so this means it's already communicate with my uh, Wi-Fi so now we can also power the LEDs and let's turn it over to see if it's working so how you can see we have the red each is here I don't know if the camera can distinguish the purple with the red but anyway here is the purple which is the nine o'clock and next to it is the red then I have the green color that just now is switched over here to 18 minutes over here so this means the time is 9 and 18 minutes so let's double check if it's correct so you can see on my mobile is the same it's 9 and 18 minutes so I can put it here like that you can see 9 18 minutes so 9 is here and 18 minutes over here now to cover this hole my wife she designed this nice logo for me and definitely I'm gonna go to stick it here and finish all the this project thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please share and put a like on this video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell stay tuned and see you on the next video bye bye Thank you.